Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. Before we jump into everything, I have so much to share with you and this vlog is going to be very long. So stay tuned for the end because I'm sharing something that's been um, helping my anxiety and my stress being a mom. So make sure you watch the whole thing. If you do make it to the end, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you aren't already, and let's jump into it. I'm in the Chick-fil-A line right now. I'm just picking up um, a couple salads and a kid's meal for Kaden. Doing a ton of errands this week. I've been super busy um, getting ready for my sister-in-law's wedding. That's next week, so I've been helping her a lot. I'm gonna do a little bit of a vlog, hopefully, on her wedding day. But I also might be super busy because I'm the matron of honor, so I'm going to have a lot of duties that day and kind of taking care, taking care of a lot. But um, yesterday I just had so much running around to do. I had to go over to my parents' um, apartment, so I'm sure you guys know because I've explained all of it in previous vlogs, but if you haven't seen them, I'll link them below. My parents are coming back up from Florida this weekend and they're gonna be staying in a apartment that they're renting for a few months before their house is done being built. So I had to go to the apartment yesterday and check out the place. My mom wanted to see it like furnished and stuff. So Anthony has to go over to their new house today because he's getting together with a construction manager or something and they have to do a bunch of stuff. Um, they completely finished yeah, thank you. Completely finished the outside, like the roof is done, windows are in, um, but they're, I think, finishing up the electrical, so I'll, I'm assuming that's what they're gonna be going over, but yeah, so we're just trying to do stuff for them, a lot going on. I haven't vlogged too much because Caden has been so like cranky and we officially like transitioned him to one nap a day which has honestly been hell guys it has been so bad thank you have a great day thanks you too transitioning from two naps to one nap has honestly been so hard and i talked a little bit about this in one of my last vlogs i think but I, I think he is stuck to the one nap now. There are days when he gets so, so tired and his one nap um, will be extra long, but I feel like that's, that's the whole transition of it is them not being split up and his wake windows being extended more. So it's honestly been a lot. And to be honest, it was just so hard to figure out what was going on with him. Like I thought he was teething I thought he was going through a growth spurt, but I have that app like where it shows you when they're having leaps and stuff and he already went through a leap so it should have been like a good period but you know it's never like accurate it, it definitely could be off <laughs> but I think that he honestly was just transitioning into one nap and I like was asking all of my friends my you know sister-in-laws who have kids I'm like when did you guys transition to one nap like should I be doing this? And I kind of just let Kaden like be. Like I didn't force anything. I wasn't trying to make him go down earlier or like adjust it in any way. I just would put him down normally when he was tired. So I think that was like really hard because I, I just, I wasn't trying to force anything. But then it was messing up his bedtime to the point where he would be going to bed at like 9.30 at night and he usually goes to bed at like 7, 7.30. Like he's down by seven and we get ready for bed at like 6.30. My lenses are messed up. It's been crazy dealing with all of that and he's been super cranky. He's been also very attached and I've been, I wanted to talk to you guys about this because I've mentioned a little bit on Instagram, but obviously, you know, me and Anthony have discussed about trying for a second <laughs> child. I've just been, thinking about it and asking other friends and wondering how the transition is from one to two because I am nervous about that. Um, Kaden's been extremely attached. Like I literally just dropped him off just so I could go grab food at my sister-in-law's and he like screamed when I left. And he's usually not like this, but as of recently, and it could very well be a leap that he's going through, but as of recently, he's just been so attached. Like, freaks out if I leave the room, freaks out if I bring him anywhere and leave him. Um, so I worry about that. 
you know, if and when we do have a new baby, that whole adjustment period, it's just a lot to think about. Um, and we're not trying right now. We have thought about when we want to try, but I think we really want to like figure out our living situation and us moving and all of that, which that's a whole other topic in, in itself. And I'm not going to get into that right now. The thing I wanted to share with you guys is I got lash extensions. I've been meaning to get these because I just feel like for mom life, it just makes things so much easier. I don't have to take hours and hours. I don't take hours and hours on my makeup, but like I just can do my makeup in very less time now. Just slap some stuff on my face, fill in my brows, and like that's it. Um, but I also wanted to get them for my sister-in-law's wedding. So I will show you guys up close later. My battery is running low because it's blinking. So I'm gonna have to charge my um, camera a bit. And I know how annoyed you guys get when I talk so much in the car. So um, I have an eye doctor appointment today. Just a little bit more running around to do, but I will vlog a little bit later. I'll show you my lash extensions up close so you can get a better look at them. I don't really have much makeup on right now. I just put some concealer under my eyes and that's it. So <laughs> kind of a bare face, but I love the way they look when I have a full face on. I shared it on Instagram. It's actually one of my friends that did it. She worked at Sweet and Sassy with me years and years ago. If you guys remember, if you've been following me for that long, she was a friend of mine that worked with me at Sweet and Sassy. So um, caught up with her and she does lashes from home. So she did a great job. But anyway, I'm going to go back to my sister-in-law's bring this food over, eat, and then in about an hour, or a little less than an hour, I gotta head to my eye doctor appointment. So it's the next day, guys. I totally failed vlogging the rest of the day. Things got super busy, and Caden was extremely cranky when I went back to pick him up. Um, he was freaking out when I left, and I realized that he had two molars coming in, so that could be a lot of the re reasons I was explaining why he was like super attached. House is a mess right now. Oh, I did hair last night and I'm gonna do hair again today, which I'll probably vlog a little bit of it. Um, but Caden decided to empty out an entire container. Oh geez. And <laughs> this is like the random stuff that's all around my house. Um, he had decided to empty an entire container of straws, so he's playing a game of pickup sticks. They're just everywhere. And very wasteful, because now they're dirty. But now it's a, a new toy for him. Let me turn this Mickey Mouse down. Let's put them back. We're going to collect all of the straws, okay? Caden. <laughs> he doesn't want them in the container. <laughs> right now I'm over at my parents' apartment and we are unloading a bunch of stuff for them before they get here. Um, it's my mom and my sister that are coming today back from Florida and then my dad's gonna be coming later in the week. Um, I'm just here with Kaden. We're just sitting, sitting here eating some Dunkin' and I got a coffee. I got the new like cold brew with the sweet foam. It's pretty good. Sweet foam is all gone now, but um, we're just hanging out and hey baby, hey baby. We're gonna unload a bunch of stuff for them. I'll show you a little bit of like an empty apartment tour. This is furnished, but they don't usually do furnished. Um, and it looks fine. It is what it is. Oh. Dada. <laughs> Hey, it's me, buddy. We should just put something on the door so that it's easier to open up. Like, is there something we can put in front of the door? Uh. So, anyway, we are helping them kind of move into this today. Um, I think I told you guys, but like they're gonna be staying here for a few months and then they're gonna move into their house that's being built. I'm pretty sure this is your parents. Probably. Just put it in the closet. You guys, kind of what it looks like. Um, I will probably have to close the windows though because I don't really want to show where we are. But, yeah. We're just gonna help them today. I'm probably gonna go back and 
um, have Caden take a nap before they get here. I think they land at like 2.30 and then Anthony's gonna go pick them up and then we're gonna all come back here. Um, I haven't even been able to give my brother and sister-in-law their like baby shower gift. They didn't end up having a baby shower. Um, they just did like a mail-in kind of thing. So I wanna give them their gift today cause it's kind of like a joint gift with me and my sister. And I obviously haven't, you know, had my Dad. sister around. What? Can you say mama? Mama. Yeah, the mama. We're gonna see mama today. Yes. Where is mama? Is that Bella? Is that Bella? Mm -hmm. You're gonna see her in a week, less than a week. I'll show you a little bit of a tour. Um, this is the front, this is laundry. And then this is another like closet for cleaning products, stuff like that. And then there's a bathroom in here. Give you guys a whole house tour of what my parents' house is gonna look like, the one that's being built. I've already showed you guys that. Very basic um, furniture too. This would be my sister's room. And then, what's wrong? I don't know what this is. Oh, we'll, we'll figure it out. It looks like stuff for my mom's work, probably. The kitchen, and then it goes into like the living room, dining room. I'm not gonna show above the windows because I just don't, don't wanna show outside. But, pretty, pretty basic. This is like the coffee stuff and paper towels and. All right, I'll, I'll organize it in the kitchen. Same kind of bathroom in here. In the closet. Kaden, you're gonna be sleeping over here. This kid has had like major separation anxiety. Like it's gotten so bad. We're back. Isn't there a, did I put a soccer ball in here? No, I don't think so. Yay! It's deflated. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna work. Yeah, that's not gonna work. You might as well just yeah. throw it out. Yeah, put it together. What? Your the high chair thing? That was quick. Good. It was cheap. Perfect. What did he say? A little one, but it works. Does so I heard you guys don't have a return flight. What? Yeah. Why? Listen, listen to what your mom's proposing. So, if you don't... <laughs> Maybe I'll come meet you. <laughs> what? Cheers. Ready? 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 drinks. I know. I'm loving that pomegranate. Oh, what? The salsa seltzer? Yeah. <laughs> you might need a shower after this, kid. It's cold. Kaden. He's good. I'll get him a bath tonight. I was actually thinking, what if I got a stopper for that shower? Because it's not that big and filled it up just a little bit. Yeah, he'd probably be it. able to do that. And just, I don't know. Yeah, he's fine. His, his skin gets really dry, yeah. It's good, right? Bye bye, mommy! Yay! <laughs> Where are you going? I'm just going for a ride. Here we go, hold on. Ready?
getting his playtime in with my mom. <laughs> I want to see. <laughs> Why? Because you just put your one lamp in there? Yeah. yeah. Have a candle. Oh. Hi! <laughs> oh, you got a fan too, Ken's? She's trying to make it a little more cozy. Did you get a, um... I'm home now, guys. I'm gonna take some of my makeup off. I barely have any on. I have like some concealer, um, barely anything, but I'm gonna take it off while I talk to you guys. So I've pretty much spent the last two days just helping my mom and my sister move into this apartment that they're gonna be in. Um, I feel like I haven't really been vlogging consistently. This is like all over the place because I've just been busy with personal stuff. Um, I chatted a little bit about what's kind of been going on with Kaden, so it's been taking a lot of my attention away from work. Um, he has had a little bit of uh, separation anxiety. He's been super attached to me. Um, like, some of my family members have noticed it, and he just, like, freaks out if I bring him somewhere. He thinks that I'm leaving him there. Um... It's been like that when I went to my sister-in-law's house. It was like that when I went over to my um, mom's apartment. I really just think that it's like his age. I think it's just kind of a stage that he's in, just something that he's going through. I don't think it's like gonna be, continue to be an issue. I think it's just something that he's going through. He is, um, gosh, how many months? Almost 14 months, so. All he wants is me and I don't mind it like I love that time with him but even the other day I actually planned to vlog um, doing hair because I was doing my neighbor's hair and I was doing like a whole balayage on her but he was on another level of cranky like was screaming I was calling my mom calling Anthony just trying to get something to distract him my neighbor's husband had to come over and try to help because I was trying to do hair and like get things done and he was not having it like he was screaming so it's just been crazy over here this next week is going to be very busy I have my sister-in-law's wedding and helping her a lot with things that she needs to get done um, Bella is going to be coming in for spring break she'll be here for the wedding so that's a whole other thing just getting prepared for her being here and I have appointments, things that I need to do. I need to pick up my dress. We have like a nail appointment. We have the rehearsal dinner. There's like so much going on. And I'm just feeling a little bit stressed. I just like have a lot going on and also just a lot of work commitments that I need to get done and haven't been able to get done because of, you know, just mom life. But Anyway, I'm going to take off my makeup and I'm going to share with you guys up close of what my lashes look like because I didn't really share that with you the other day and I've probably been putting it off with all the clips you're seeing. You're like, oh my god, just show your lashes. <laughs> I'm a little dirty right now because I have like a little bit of makeup on, but these are already like grown in a little bit. They are not freshly done. Don't worry about my eyebrows, didn't even do them today, they're not even filled in, but I love the way she did my lashes. They're a little bit more dramatic, but I, I love them. Like the best I feel like I've ever gotten done before. She understood what I wanted, I wanted like wispy, similar to what I look like when I wear falsies, but she did do them a little bit more dramatic because of the wedding. Next time I go, when I get a fill, I'm probably going to get them a little bit more natural, but I just love them. And I just, when I take my makeup off, like, you'll see they'll look dark because I have nothing on my face. But when I take my makeup off, I just still feel like I have something done. And my makeup takes such less time to do. So, I'm gonna, um, get ready for bed. It's definitely been hard to, like, 
not rub my eyes. It's one of the things that I kind of struggle with when I get lash extensions, which I haven't got them in so long, but just not being able to like rub my eyes normally. Shower is a mess. I have products everywhere. I can't wait to get a fill again because I really, really like the way she did it. I think they were definitely really dramatic and a little dark to begin with, but I also feel like she kind of did it a little bit more than what I wanted because of the wedding. <laughs> and the wedding was like technically, what, two weeks or no? I think like a week and a half or something from she, when she did it. Breaking out on my chin, trying to clear that up. I got this product on Amazon. I talked a little bit about it on my Instagram story. It's this cystic acne treatment and it's like a um, solid. And it has aloe vera, arnica, tea tree oil, but all of the ingredients on the back are like all natural. So I thought it would work pretty good. Um, they've definitely gone down, my cystic acne. Like I just have a lot of hormonal stuff going on, but it's definitely gone down. I feel like it's it's working and I use a lot of like my own natural stuff. Like I made my own um, face oil. It's like a glow serum. I make my own rollers. So I have like an eye roller. These are all with essential oils. I have my own acne treatment oil. Um, but yeah, so I have been using this. I'll have to keep using it to see if I, um, you know, like the results of it, but it's just like oils. There's coconut oil, jojoba oil, beeswax, witch hazel, tea tree oil, rosemary oil, vitamin E, aloe vera. Like it's all good stuff. So I've also switched to CeraVe to see if that makes a difference. Just using like simple, clean products. Also, you guys know, I don't like to wash my face with my hands. Um, my brush thing that I use from Vanity Planet is completely out of batteries and I forgot to change them. Um, but I usually use that every single time I wash my face. Now my face is clean. You can see my eyelashes are pretty dramatic with nothing else on my skin. Put some skincare on and treat this mess. Mix a little bit of this Drunk Elephant Luxury Facial Oil with my oil. Um, and... And I look crazy. I'm going to do a little bit of gloss saw too just because I feel like I need the drainage. I bring this all down onto my neck. I am obsessed with how glowy my skin looks after I do that. I'm gonna put a little bit of moisturizer on too. This is just an Aveeno like night cream. It's just a, like a lot thicker. I'm gonna take my Ole Hendrickson Banana Bright Eye Cream. Put that on. I want to take better care of my skin because I just feel like I'm aging and I see it happening. Do this under the eyes since I just put that. Oh gosh, I need to tone my hair. I like to take this rose quartz gua sa tool and I'll go along my neckline just like this. And I'll do this several times on both sides just to get that lymphatic drainage. I can see myself in my shower door. Also go like this to get that double chin.
And then sometimes I'll go up like this. Do some face lifting. Then, once I'm done that, I'm going to put on this stuff that I've been trying out. And I'm just going to put it over my problem areas. It really does smell like tea tree and rosemary. Um, sometimes I will put like my little roller over top which is a combination of similar oils. Mine smells like straight up tea tree, which is antifungal, antimicrobial, antibacterial. I use it a lot for cleaning, but it's also great for your skin. It's great for clearing up um, acne. Sometimes I literally will take like my actual tea tree oil um, and I will you're supposed to dilute it, so that's why I made a roller out of it because this is diluted. But um, sometimes, if I have a super stubborn pimple or something, I will make sure I have applied all of my moisturizers and everything, and then I will take it just a dab of this and put it on. It's very strong, it's very potent, gotta be careful with this stuff, but very powerful, and it usually helps. Um, so, yeah, that is a little bit of my nighttime routine. I am going to probably read a little bit of my Bible. I'm going to show you guys that because it's something that I've been doing recently. Um, and I've just started. So I feel like it's a going to be a long process of reading the Bible. But I want to show you guys um, the one that I have and kind of where I've started. And I'm going to get ready for bed. So I'm in bed. Um... Oh, this might show a glare. I have these blue light glasses that I got on Amazon. And I've been liking them, but they're kind of showing a glare, so can't really wear them. Um, I want to show you guys my Bible. I'm probably going to do some reading. And I usually follow along on like a um, this like YouTube channel that I've been watching. And I also have a few friends of mine that post Bible studies as well. So I just kind of follow along. Um, and just sit and relax and I have like highlighters that I like to use to highlight and write stuff and it's really been helping. It's been helping my anxiety, it's been helping me like take time for myself too. This is the Bible that I ended up going with. It is the She Reads Truth Christian Standard Bible. And I end up getting all of these tabs on Amazon, I think. Um, and I love this Bible because it has the gold pages. It's so pretty. It's kind of hard to tell in this light, but it's like a rose gold, like, kind of color. It's really pretty. Anthony actually has the same Bible. It's the He Reads Truth, and it's gray. I'll show you guys that. It's over here. This is right here. I also love this one too because this one's like a hard cover. Um, and then I also got all of his labels or tabs off of Amazon as well. But I just did like the neutral for him. And yeah. Like I said, I started in John. I have been highlighting here and there, um, but I definitely want to continue. I think I left off here in chapter eight. Probably gonna listen to my little videos and I like these highlighters. They actually don't bleed through. I mean, like you can see them, but they don't bleed through the pages because they're so thin. I got these at like Target. I actually kind of want more colors. This I put on every single night for my um, my shoulders and my neck and I'm completely out. I made this myself with just like 
coconut oil and a bunch of Young Living oils. But Panaway is in the oil and I also will just rub this on me, but it helps with pain, muscle aches, stuff like that. So I'm gonna rub this on. I already put a little bit of this. I had to use the rest of it. 